Hello and welcome to the class. Today we shall discuss about the concept, need and importance of sex education at school level. India is the largest democracy in the world. In absolute terms, India is the fastest growing country globally with 18 million people aided annually. It is a nation of contrast, diversity and tremendous development potential with a society that is multilingual and multi-religious with a multitude of caste, ethnic groups and cultures. The number of adolescents that is aged between 10 to 19 years is increasing and comprises over one-fifth of the population. Adolescent girls have limited choices and are caught in the cycle of early marriage, repeated pregnancies and childbearing. Awareness of sex is the most significant factor necessary to lead a secure life. Usual educational practices are very simple to learn, but we cannot consider sex education on the same line. It comprises physiological, psychological and social issues, especially when we think of including it as a part of academic syllabus. As these complications occur, a question may arise in the mind of people about the need for sex education providing to the children. When children reach teenage level, lack of sex education may lead them to the unusual behavior. If not corrected at the exact time, it may generate problems of immature misbehaviors in life of these children. In India, most of the young girls lack good nutrition, early childbearing, reproductive health complications and difficulties of adolescent physical development. Onamia is one of the primary contributors to maternal mortality. That is, maternal mortality is five times higher in onamic women and is associated with the progressive physical deterioration of girls aged 10 to 19 years. Nutritional deprivation, increased demand of her body, excessive menstrual loss and early or frequent pregnancies all aggravate and exaggerate anemia and its effects. For the young boys, they face different set of problems and have needs, equally sensitive as those of girls. However, the entrenched patriarchal familial societal Institutional practices in India and their own geographical areas and cultures do not allow them to express their problems and needs easily. Their issues and concerns require acknowledgement and response which is empathetic and positive. Now, let us discuss about the definition of adolescence. By definition, the term adolescence is applied to lifespan usually between 10 to 19 years in which children undergo rapid changes in body size, physiology and psychological and social functioning. This is the net result of surging hormones and social expectations designed to foster the transition from childhood to adulthood. True to the literal meaning of the term in the Greek word adolescer means to grow and to mature. The sentinel occurrence during the period of adolescence is rapid growth, not just physical and biological, that is sexual, but also emotional, cognitive, psychological and social. 
On the other hand, adolescence has been described as the transition period in life when an individual is no longer a child but not yet an adult. According to UNICEF, adolescence is the beginning of the onset of puberty and defined as the sequence of events by which the individual is transformed into a young adult by a series of biological changes. Arbitrarily, adolescence is divided into three phases early, middle, and late adolescence. Early adolescence refers to age between 10 to 13 years, middle adolescence between 14 to 16 years, and late adolescence between 17 to 20 years. Now let us talk about concepts and objectives of sex education. The term sex education also known as sexuality education or sex and relationships education is widely used to depict education about reproductive system, sexual interaction and other facets of human sexual behavior. It is the procedure of gaining knowledge and developing mindset as well as ideas about sex sexual identity, human relations, closeness, gender roles, contraception methods, and prevention of human immunodeficiency virus that is HIV and sexually transmitted diseases that is STD. It is important that adolescents should be familiar with the purpose of providing education at the school level in order to develop an open and healthy approach towards sex and sexuality in order to assist them to make well thought judgments. Introducing sex education at school level always attracted objections and apprehensions from many quarters. Family life education, that is FLE or sex education, refers to a broad program designed to impart knowledge or training regarding values, attitudes and practices affecting family relationships. It aims to develop the qualities and attitudes on which successful family life depends. The education that provides knowledge on physical, social, moral, behavioral and psychological changes and developments during puberty is termed as adolescent family life education. It teaches the adolescents about the role of boys and girls in family and society, responsibility and attitude of boys and girls towards each other, etc. within social contexts. The main objectives of sex education can be broadly described as follows. Firstly, to develop emotionally stable children and adolescents who feel sufficiently secure and adequate to make decisions regarding their conduct without being carried away by their emotions. Secondly, to provide sound knowledge not only of the physical aspects of sex behavior but also its psychological and sociological aspects so that sexual experience will be viewed as a part of the total personality of the individual. Thirdly, to develop attitudes and standards of conduct which will ensure that young people and adults will determine their sexual and other behavior by considering its long-range effects on their own personal development, the good of other individuals and welfare of society as a whole. Now, 
coming to the adolescent's sexual behavior and its consequences. During adolescence period, most young people initiate sexual behavior and have many misconceptions and myths related to sexual and reproductive health. There are numerous myths attached to sexuality and reproductive health that are at the root of high risk sexual behavior in this particular age group. In addition, many mental health and social problems that is anxiety, depression, poor body image, stigma and suicide etc. may result from myths about body image, erectile dysfunction, illegitimate pregnancy and sexual problems, for example, premature ejaculation. Most adolescents lack relevant information and skills to practice safe sex. This situation has its impact not only on adolescents or young individuals but also on their families and the society. Following are the consequences of unsafe sexual behavior among adolescents. Firstly, early pregnancy and parenthood that is early marriage and sometimes out of wedlock or extra marital relationship. Secondly, higher percentage of low birth weight that is LBW babies and increased infant morbidity and mortality. Thirdly, abortions and its related complications. Fourth, reproductive tract infections or sexually transmitted infections that is RTI or STI including HIV or AIDS. Consequences that are more in adolescence even if it has been safe sex. Firstly, emotional impact that is guilt, stress, anxiety, suicide. Secondly, social impact that is stigma especially if unmarried. Thirdly, economic impact that is hindrance to academic and career progress. Emotional, social and economic impact may be more in case of adolescents even if it is safe sex because they are not mature enough to handle these consequences. Now let us talk about the need for sex education. Sex education is a very important subject that every child has to be aware of. It is intended to decrease the hazards of negative results from sexual behavior such as unwanted or unplanned pregnancies and infection through sexually transmitted diseases. The general need of sex education is to eradicate the lack of knowledge and wrong ideas about sex by creating right attitude among the adolescents. Commonly, schools and colleges are considered as the main hub for creating awareness on sex education. Lack of sexual health education, that is information plus skills, contributes to the health and psychological problems of the adolescents. They are likely to be curious yet ill-informed, bold yet vulnerable and have numerous myths related to sexual anatomy and functioning. Many adolescents adopt high-risk behavior due to the numerous myths and lack of skills, especially ability to negotiate and to deal with peer pressure effectively. Now let us talk about importance of sex education at school level. School provides a natural entry for reaching adolescents with health education and services. School is an ideal place to screen for or treat a range of common illnesses. But on the contrary, schools are short of resources and teachers have neither the training nor the resources 
to deliver health education on top of their existing workload. To turn this around requires effective training to build the motivation and skills of staff and many require outside support for sex education lessons. Some successful schemes train young people as peer educators in schools. It also ensures that services provided at school have community support. Many head teachers are concerned that they will open themselves to criticism. If they provide services for the students, efforts among the school and community are required to ensure that such moves are supported. Sex education should also include social and moral behavior, proper attitudes and values towards sex, love, family life and interpersonal relations in the society. Due to growing incidences of HIV or AIDS, RTIs, STIs and teenage pregnancies, there is a need to impart sex education among the problem of overpopulation also demands family life education, including family planning as a priority as many of the young people are about to be married and should be aware of the responsibilities they have. Now let us talk about the sports and sex education. The course physical education and health based on physical activities is conducted to help students develop both physically and psychologically. The course is very much in common with sex education, which is a good channel for boys and girls to communicate. As a consequence, the middle school students should realize the feasibility to introduce sex education to the course and explore measures to put that into practice. The sport teachers should make use of the course as a platform to cultivate students' right attitude towards sexual health education. Detailed discussion will be made to explore the feasibility of introducing sex education to the physical education, which is expected to promote the development of sexual health education. Sex education is an important demonstration of the idea of modern health. With joint efforts, the middle school students knowing the essence of sex as a science will move toward maturity happily and healthily. After all the discussions we had, we can conclude that sex education imparts gradually the essential information about conception, contraception and sexually transmitted diseases. It is a continuous process of developing attitudes, values and understanding regarding all situations and relationships in which people play roles as males or females. Growth and development during adolescence is a biopsychological process characterized by physical, psychological and cognitive changes taking place together but at different pace. These changes may not occur at the same chronological age in different adolescents and this may cause concern in them. So, this is the right time to take up the appropriate counseling and awareness so that timely referrals can be made.